Because God is the same God. Because Satan, despite himself, has to inter imitate God. He has to try to cook up counterfeits. And that's what the unholy trinity is about, Satan, the beast, and the false prophets. Essentially a counterfeit trinity. Because those patterns are ongoing patterns. There's going to be many times when we think, ah, what I see in the book of Revelation is happening around me. And the problem comes only if you say, then this is it. This is the exclusive manifestation of, say, the Antichrist. Okay? And people said the Pope is the Antichrist. Mussolini is the Antichrist. Uh, Gorbachev is the Antichrist. Reagan even, because his name had was uh, three names, each with six letters. They, they had these theories and they all didn't pan out in terms of an exclusive claim. But I believe there are multiple antichrists leading to one final one, right? So don't, my advice to people is don't get on the bandwagon of the latest exciting thing. Realize there's going to be ongoing conflict with Satan. There's going to be wars and rumors of wars. Be patient and persevering, waiting for the Lord's coming without knowing the date or the hour, right? Jesus says explicitly, no one knows the day or hour. And we've had a real problem through church history of people thinking they did know. In terms of books on the book of Revelation, again, forgive me for mentioning my own, The Returning King, I wrote it to be a lay level, easy introduction to the book of Revelation and spending some time on what are the major themes. If you want a really technical commentary, Greg Beale has got one, a thousand pages. I've heard that he's writing another one that's going to be half of that, that's going to be more accessible. So there are all kinds of things like that, but I hope my own book can be an easy introduction.